Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number 4. And we're going up against an alliance that I cannot say their names. So sorry. Uh, anyway, I've already scouted out my path. I take path 2, and I'm going in with my standard team that seems to be able to handle, so far, everything that I have had to face on that path. Now, you may notice something. I said I take path two, right? But my path was already taken. Now, I've taken path two all season, and someone decided to take my path this time. Uh, it was a lot of fun, yes. So I had to take another path, and so we're gonna be dealing with some nodes that uh, I may not be as familiar with because I was learning my path. All right, so we're going to have to fight this Hyperion. First off, all right, and uh, we've corrected uh, this issue. Uh, so this only happened the one time. I'm still not clear on why that happened in the first place. Why this uh, person decided to take a path that he has not taken all season, but... In any case, I believe it's fixed. So I'm boosting up because I don't trust this Hyperion. And remember, in a previous war, uh, I went ahead and popped an invulnerability boost. Uh, invulnerability boost. Uh, but this time, I was smarter because the real Nick Fury is not out yet. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and go in. Um, he threw his special, and he threw his special again. So I'm like, okay. We're dealing with Stubborn uh, Global, so I'm trying my best not to dex, all right? And we're just working him over. Just look at this, all right? Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to fire that special two off. He parried it, but it didn't matter. Still took him out. He had a really fast reaction time, or I was a little bit slow on the uh, special two. Probably was me being a little bit slow because... Uh, I was watching and I was not sure I wanted to go for it and that slight hesitation would be enough for him to uh, block all right so now we've got Emma Frost but she's not clear and again I'm on a path that I am not familiar with so I'm not trying to jump in and do too much right uh, so someone went in and it didn't go so well uh, so I was asked, can you t finish off that Emma Frost? So, okay, no problem. So boost it up again. Now, keep in mind that I'm trying to be calm because I've taken a path that at least mentally I was not really prepared to take. And I'm like, I don't believe that they took my path. But I'm like, okay, you know what? We can correct it. I'll deal with this for the first section, and then uh, for the second section, we'll be back. Okay, so you see the nose that I have to deal with here for this Emma Frost, and the fact that someone already died on her lets me know that it's not a simple, easy fight. Okay, um, I am not the best fighter at all, and a lot of people in my alliance fight way better than I do. You can see I already got smacked up early. Um, we're having to deal with that stubborn global and I got angry. So you see I'm I, I went ham on her after that You know, she got smacked, uh, you know got a little smacking on me, but I said no We're not going out like that. I was already not happy uh, about Having to be over here in the first place But I didn't complain or anything um, pretty sure folks that know me in the Alliance know that I was not happy. Okay, so I'm looking around here and I'm like, okay, uh, and I'm checking out the different nodes and the different fights uh, that are available. And remember, I'm thinking uh, that I am going to stay away from that middle, don't want to take that middle, uh, and I want to get back to my path where I'm familiar with the nodes and how to fight on those nodes. You know, honestly, during the season is not the time to be experimenting and trying new things. 
uh, if you can help it. If you have people that already know how to fight on those nodes, that's where you want to, you know, go if you're planning on winning. All right. So, you know, but I'm looking around because I am thinking about whether I should take that or not. So I came back and you see I have that path there and I did not want to fight those guys. I just didn't. Uh, so I went back to my path in section two. Now, the problem is that I did not communicate. So two wrongs don't make a right. Uh, the person that took my path did so without communicating what he was doing, what he was planning on doing. I went back to my path also without communicating or, you know, telling anybody, all right, I'm going back to my path. Uh, so that caused a little bit of discussion, not much, um, because they pretty much knew, you know, like a rubber band, you know, I went out, but then I went right back to what I was used to. That is how I am, unless told otherwise. All right. So I'm back to familiar territory and I'm boosting up. Uh, Mole Man doesn't seem to be a very difficult defender. But uh, if you're familiar with this path from before, uh, what I need to do is either fire off a lot of specials so that I can reset the counters so I don't get uh, power controlled or with uh, Omega Red, let my spores do the talking. So, you know, I'm looking up here and you see here, uh, you see the suppress, that's what happens. So at this point, uh, what I need to do is uh, build up to a special one. Don't ask me what happened there because I don't know. Um, I needed to build up to a special one and then fire off that special one to reset the counter. Uh, but I'm also having to deal with this stubborn. Okay, so look at that. Every time he does that, all right, but I parried, got rid of the stubborn, and you can see my power is just draining. I'm not going to have any power, but thankfully with uh, Omega Red, he's got the spores, and so down goes Mole Man. So not too difficult with Omega Red. Again, when I'm scouting out my path, I plan for the path. So having someone take my path puts me in a little bit of a bind. And around this time, there's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of content to be completed. And I'm trying to make content for the channel, complete this content and grind arena and do Alliance War, you know, and Alliance Quest. So I don't need a whole lot of changes going on uh, to, to uh, take away my uh, focus, all right? But anyway, so I healed up a little bit. Uh, Mr. Sinister, anytime I see him, I'm automatically thinking of Warlock. Uh, he's a great Mr. Sinister counter. And so we're gonna go in here after this Mr. Sinister and we're just gonna fight like normal okay so uh, we want to get up that infection uh, i really wish that my warlock were awakened but i'm not likely to awaken him anytime soon because i'm currently going for a lot of uh, mutant skill dual crystals so no chance of getting him all right so we're just basically uh, getting those infections up on him, okay? And uh, he's not gonna be able to regen. And you see the suppression because I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do, which is fire the specials off. But fortunately, you don't need to have a whole lot of specials going off with Warlock. As you can see, he is doing well. But now if he was awakened, uh, that infection would also be doing some degen damage. Uh, so I really do want him awakened. I do have some uh, generics and I could use one of them on him, but haven't planned to do that just yet. All right, so that was the final fight for the uh, war. At least my participation ended after this fight. Uh, so now uh, we'll come back and we'll find out how we did in this war uh, that 
Iron Man Infinity War you see there. Wasn't going to touch him because one of our guys had a uh, Corvus. All right, so we'll be back. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war, the first loss of the season. And it was pretty close, as you can tell from the score. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.